they're off. Dr. Chit gets off to a quick start. He fired right off the mark, but here comes Trinniberg after that lead, and he's got it. Trinniberg races to the front. And then coming on through between horses, Dr. Chit now runs along in second, followed by Currency Swap, and he's right up there too. And down inside, Gunboat runs along in fourth. Unbridled's done fifth, as Gunboat had to check there, now back running in fifth place. Fort Loudon races in sixth. And it's still next to Lori's Rocket, and Willie Beeman down toward the rail, ever so lucky and spin out. So it's Trinniberg who zips through an opening quarter in 22 and one fifth seconds. He's going to run as far as he can, as fast as he can. And Dr. Chit's not far behind. And Fort Loudon's on the outside. And Currency Swap now two and a half lengths from the lead as they round the far turn here at the spa. And then on the outside, it's Unbridled's Note, who's three wide and running in fifth. The half was up in 45 seconds flat. So it's still Trinniberg and Dr. Chit. One, two, as they turn for home. Currency Swap still behind them third as the field turns for home here. At the top of the stretch, it's Dr. Chit on even terms with Trinniberg. Down to the inside, Currency Swap is fighting on hard, trying to get through in between horses. Unbridled's note, he's in very tight. And here comes Willie Beeman. Here comes Willie Beeman and Gunbow, too. They're coming down to the finish. Willie Beeman on the outside. And Willie Beeman does it. He won just Wednesday, the Albany Stakes. He barely had time to cool out, and he comes back and wins the King's Bishop. It was close for a second there between Fort Loudon and Unbridled.